Hello, I'm Dr. Zoe Walkington from the Open University Centre for Policing, Research and Learning. And I'm talking to you during the COVID-19 health crisis. And so, as you can see, I, like everyone else at the Open University, is now working from home. Uh, our offices are shut, but it's very much still business as usual. Um, we have had at this time a number of people accessing our free learning resources and we've got a number of resources that are really relevant to the health crisis, uh, for example on coronavirus, on digital learning and on mental health and of course we've got our police relevant short courses uh, that are also free. For example, those that we recently developed with PSNI around leadership and communications. We're really conscious that we want to have useful exploratory uh, conversations with forces and at the moment we're talking to Dorset who are really interested in not only how people are responding, how forces are responding to the coronavirus crisis, but also how they can put in plans um, around recovery from it um, and how we can capture the lessons learnt um, in the best way possible. We have Dr Natalie Benton working with us at the moment. She's one of our vice chairs and she's seconded to us full time right now. And she's particularly interested in looking at how we can develop um, ways of work, working with our partnership forces to further enhance those partnerships and to identify operational and organisational challenges that we can best help people with and also how to share those ideas across several um, member forces. So please do get in touch if you have ideas that you'd like to discuss with Natalie. We also have our Citizen Forensics programme. That's a uh, programme of research looking at online platforms as a way of communicating between citizens and the police and other services. And we've already got a COVID-19 uh, initial survey out there that's looking to capture um, some data. Of course, we've got Professor Jean Hartley, uh, who is uh, very interested in public leadership. Uh, both with the police, with other public servants, uh, community activists and elected politicians. Uh, her particular research interests are around innovation in public services, but also organisational management and public management. So she's available for rapid literature reviews um, and as a sounding board for leadership and managing change. Uh, we have, of course, our expert in demand management, uh, Paul Wally, who is um, interested in looking at how demand is changing in response to the crisis. So the timing and mix of incidents, for example, that forces are dealing with. And he's happy if it's helpful for particular forces to go through, look at incident stats um, and start to spot pattern changes, uh, if that would be helpful. Uh, he can also look at how organisations are limiting or changing the services that they provide, um, perhaps in situations, for example, where there are staff shortages and so on. We're also really conscious at the centre that there will potentially be a large increase in the number and severity of um, domestic abuse cases and certainly the emerging evidence from China and from France suggests that domestic domestic abuse cases have increased threefold during the crisis and we're conscious that for our police partners that will be um, in the context of obviously quite depleted resources and therefore having to make difficult uh, prioritisation decisions. And we've got Liz Bates, our senior research fellow, who's offering to help member forces collate and compare data on the number, nature of calls and how forces are adapting to this new environment. And she's also set up links with uh, domestic abuse charities to help victim services and funders to understand this changing context and set of circumstances and demand. So as you can see, there's a lot going on um, and there's a lot of things we're very happy to help with, but we're also interested to hear your ideas of what would be useful. So if you do want to get in contact, please do. And initially you can, con uh, you can direct your inquiry to oupc at open.ac.uk and then they will direct your query on to the relevant person from there. Thank you so much and thank you for keeping us safe.